another day, another dollar spent. Um, what I've done here, I've got my big set of plans hanging there so I can see the entire wing layout. I have my first set of plans to build the ribs and the spars laying down. And then I just roll up another set of plans on top of that. That was for the elevator and the flaps and um, that next set of plans. So I can just roll those out of the way so that I can get back to, I was doing the front vault spars. So right here, DHW 10 and DHW 11 today. Uh, I had to color coat this because I was still, sometimes it's just hard to see where everything goes. But DHW 10, this top one, uh, from the factory, it seems they would cut an angle in there. I machined down three quarter by quarter inch. Um, I've got fur. It calls for pine. Um, so I machined that down. Now before I got it down all the way to quarter inch, I cut this groove in there. I put it at about 30 degrees. And I just used the bandsaw. So I've got the bandsaw tilted at 30 degrees, and I just ran it through the bandsaw, and it seemed to work. So this is my top bolt spar. Where am I there? I'm gonna sit like that in there. And that's the angle I've got. So, I'm going to stick that one on to the wing. And then the bottom one, they don't call for an angle. It's straight across. So that one shouldn't be a problem, quarter inch by three quarter inch. But that one had that little bit of an angle on there. So I just cut that, like I said, using the bandsaw seemed to work all right. For me, uh, I cut the angle first and then I went and machined it down with a thickness planer after that angle was cut on there. Just so that when I'm going through the bandsaw, I've got a little more wood to work with. And it uh, seemed to work fine, no problem at all. And just a tidbit about nature's composite. That whole wing, I just moved from there to there. I don't think this weighs 20 pounds, this whole wing. Pretty darn light and pretty darn strong. Just thought I'd mention that. So we did the work today on the fault spars at the front. There's the angle. What I've done here, I've got the top one and the bottom one, and I just put a piece of scrap across there and clamp them in there to get them nice and tight. So that's how I've got that done. We've got the angle beveled on there, and that actually looks pretty good. I don't know if I can get down there and get a view of that, but it turned out all right. It's amazing how much time doing anything takes. So I told you that I took that one and I ran that through the bandsaw to get it. Uh, that one's nice and square. Cut it out and then machined it down with the thickness planer. But even doing things like, you know, moving the car away, putting the saw up, measuring it and measuring it and measuring it, make sure you have the right distance. 
for the cut that you're making and taking it over to the thickness planer, setting up your vacuum hose so you don't get sawdust everywhere. It all takes time. There was a conversation on Facebook about, well, what's the build time? Well, the build time can be quite a lot. And I would imagine it's gonna be less with a kit, obviously, because they give you all the spars that you can just glue on. If you're building each little false spar and each little piece of lattice work, all that just takes a lot of time. And then there's a lot of time sitting and figuring out what's the best way to do all this work. So uh, I'm keeping track on the EA logbook and we'll see what we get up to and how much it actually, how long it actually takes to do it. When dad and I built the Challenger, uh, we moved it in. I was teaching at the time, so I had summers off. Moved it in and started July 1st and hit that sucker hard. Both of us working every day. We took a week off to go to Oshkosh. And then other than that, we got about 90% done in two months of working. And that's covered with the coat of uh, UV sprayed on up to that point. Then I packed it up and moved west. And then over the next six months, working, working and then just working on it on weekends and stuff, I got it done. So I moved it west in September and uh, in the early spring, I was flying it. So a kit can be built pretty quickly if you got two guys and you're working your butt off. But uh, going from plans and working by yourself, it's going to take a little longer. So build time, all depends on how you're doing it. All right. So that's the false spars on the front. And I'm getting hungry. So what I'll do is just start pondering the spars for the rudder and aileron and look at these plans and start getting those things going. All right, there's another day.